the measuring in advance option in iGEMS we can basically tell our height setter to go around and take measurements at certain intervals around a part and map the surface of the material so that the uh, top of the material is not perfectly flat can map that out and get a better quality bevel cut on a part like this. So this assumes that the material is not going to stress relieve. If it does stress relieve during cutting then uh, the results are going to vary of course but we'll go ahead and take a look at this. So go up to this uh, process area and under the strategy area tell it that we're going to do our Z control by measuring and then we can you can either measure and then cut a part and then measure it for the next part and cut the next part or you can if you do it by sheet it'll do measure all the points first and then go back and do all the cutting and then you can tell it the uh, area that you want to um, to measure in so it can specify different numbers for vertical cuts and bevel cuts so if you want to be have more measuring points for the bevel cut you can change that or fewer points for the vertical cut so and then if we go in and do our simulation, so what we'll see here, these would be the points that it would be measuring. So it's going to measure a couple points on each of these holes and then go around a few points on the outside. And then that would be for the bevel cut there. So it's looking at all the points that it has and decides that it's got enough points here to cover that um, six inch number that we had specified. And then it'll go through and do the same thing for the other part. And then once it's got that, then I'll go back and do the cutting. And then when you get into the cutting, basically do a triangulation amongst the uh, the three points or three points that are nearest. And we're going to adjust the Z height based on what those three points are. So that then gets fed back into the controller and the Z heights adjusted accordingly. So any questions on that? Let us know. Thanks.